Hi, my name is Anthony, also known as Android. I'm gonna quickly go over today how to uh, install the um, game patches for NCAA Football 06 Next. Um, NCAA 06 Next is this new um, project that our team has been working on to update NCAA Football 06 to have modern uniforms and a whole bunch of other little um, updates to the game. Um, the stuff I've been working on on this project uh, primarily has been a whole bunch of uh, these little patches. Um, I've done a few of the texture updates, but mostly I've been working on a whole bunch of roster updates, dynasty mods, um, uh, realignment mods, sponsorship, and a whole bunch of uniform number patches uh, to basically uh, allow you to um, move the numbers from different parts of the jersey to where they should be um, on the modern uniforms. Uh, so today we will um, kind of go over how some of this works. Um, if you haven't already, uh, this is the web page um, for the NCAA 06 Next. In it, there's a release button over here. Uh, currently, um, as I'm recording this, V6 is our latest version, which includes all these patches. But I'm actually going to give you a preview of uh, V7, which will be coming out really soon um, as I record this. Um, but they are uh, essentially very similar mods. Uh, v 7s adding um, a few new conference um, conferences and uh, a new patch to go with the new uniforms that we're adding. Um, also, while you're on this site, there's a button at the very top called Wiki. Uh, if you click on this, this gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the emulator, um, install the mod, and how to set up these uh, game patches, which I'm going to go over right over here. So there's um, so when you download the zip, um, you'll unzip it to a folder, and inside the folder you'll have a whole bunch of other files and subfolders within it. The uh, the main ones that we're going to talk about today are the game patches. But just to quickly recap, if you haven't already, the textures folder and the mem card folder. Um, these actually go into your PCSX2 uh, directory. So I can kind of show you quickly how where it looks like on mine. I have mine on a D drive in a folder called PCSX2 um, here. Uh, so again, this left side here is the emulator. And on the right side here is the, um, the zip file. So. Um, Basically, to s install the, the um, new mod, you want to first, um, if you have an older one, just go ahead and delete this uh, SLUS21214 uh, SLUS folder. Because uh, anytime we update new textures, there could be some stuff that we ends up getting uh, not used anymore or, or something. So it's good to just kind of start fresh. But once you do, once you do that, you basically just take these two folders and drag it into this folder and let it do its thing. The uh, memory card folder. This is actually not optional. You don't really have to do it, but that includes the um, updated 2021 rosters as well as my dynasty mod starter kit, and also includes historical rosters. The textures folder again has all the textures in it. So replacements here is the actual ones you'll see in the game that get changed. And the alternate replacements is um, extras. Uh, so these are uh, things that aren't part of the official mod, but you can go ahead and manually move them over to the replacements folder if you like. So there's all these things that um, our team has created uh, over the past few months. Um, the ones that I've been working on are like the broadcast. So this gives you some options of changing the TV broadcast logo to a bunch of uh, network broadcasts that are um, here, like CBS, ESPN, Fox, NBC, etc. Um, I also made some icons like possession arrows and timeout bars. There's also uh, a game controller button. So if you use an Xbox controller, you might want to drag this over to the replacement folder. Um, also new footballs, so there's like Wilson and Nike footballs, there's new stadium art, there's uh, alternate uniforms, so in here a whole bunch of different uniforms have been added. We can go ahead, just go to Oregon for example. This one's been 
uh, done pretty extensively by one of our team members who uh, is a big Oregon fan. Uh, but he has year by year uh, alternate uniforms, and within it, there's a ton of different alternate uniforms. But basically, you want to go in and replace, um, like like Oregon away, you'd want to go in and um, into the replacements folder and replace the actual Oregon away here. So you would basically delete this folder or, or move it to the side out of this replacement sub um, directory, put that alternate in here, and then when you're done with it, put them back. Um, or leave it permanently if you like. So that's, that's kind of a quick up to, uh, tutorial on the repl uh, textures and replacements. But the main thing I want to go over today is the uh, patches. So there's, um, I think I accidentally closed it. Let me quickly show here. Um, so again, when you open up the zip, it'll have a, a bunch of folders. Game patches is the one I'm going to talk about today. Um, in V7, there's going to be a couple new folders here called General and Dynasty Combo. Um, these uh, include a combination of the, of the three patches that I made, or three or four patches I made in little um, pre-made uh, uh, mods. So the very first one here is the Road to Heisman patch. Basically what this is, is it updates the game to have 2020, 2021 uh, season rosters already by default in the game. Uh, so you don't even need the roster uh, memory card anymore. But basically this makes the game baseline to have the newest rosters. Um, this lets you play the Road to Heisman mod um, with updated 2021 rosters so of everyone in the right position and everything. Uh, this Allstate broadcast uh, mod, um, this one Basically, because one of the changes I did to the texture mod is to update the sponsorship since Pontiac is no longer a real company um, and all the uh, field goals are now uh, sponsored by Allstate. We have an Allstate logo that shows up when a field goal or extra point is kicked and this changes the, the um, text within the game to go with the Allstate. Uh, so it basically doesn't say Pontiac anymore. Um, and then there's the um, Dynasty mod. So this is this goes hand in hand with the dynasty uh, save that I created in the memory card that's included. Um, if you don't install this, the dynasty save won't work correctly. So basically, what this is doing is this updates the the way the game uh, creates a schedule at the end of every season. Um, if you don't do it, it will schedule like it did in NCAA 06, which means that some conferences don't have. Um, the right amount of uh, teams in it and it won't schedule correctly. So this basically allows like the Pac-12 to actually have a 12-team uh, twelve team schedule instead of having a 10-team a base schedule like before when it was just a Pac-10. And finally, the uniform patch. So this, um, I talked about it a little bit earlier, but in the game um, in 2006, some of the teams have their uh, jersey numbers on the sleeve and so and nowadays are on the shoulder or vice versa they were on the shoulder now they're on the sleeve or in some cases they don't have numbers at all um, so this uniform patch um, has been consistently updated uh, for the last couple uh, versions of this game uh, this this mod sorry um, and this basically will correct those issues so that you don't have a number that's overlapping uh, a, a texture design uh, so numbers are moving from sleeve to shoulder or shoulder to sleeve. So this, um, so that's kind of the overview of those three or those four patches. Um, number one here in this folder is a general combo. So this is basically creating the basic game over again, but with these new, new uh, patches. And this will work with creating, if you want to create your own dynasty or create your own Road to Heisman mode or you know, playing the games as normal. You know, you want to create a new ISO with this patch in it. If you are using my Dynasty uh, Conference Realignment mod, then you'll need to create a separate, um, unique um, ISO file just for that. And this patch here um, includes all the necessary components to um, make that ISO work correctly with the scheduler and, and also the uniform patch and all state patch. Okay, so that's kind of the uh, quick introduction. 
Um, I have also in here the instructions on how, how this works. Um, first thing you need to do is download this software called ImageBurn. It's uh, free, freeware, so it doesn't cost anything. Um, it's actually been, uh, hasn't been updated in many years, so you, the latest version is whatever is here. Um, but basically you'll want to download this. I actually already have it, so I can, um, I have it here somewhere. One second. Oh, it's actually in my folder. So I have it right here. Um, so I have it open off to the screen here, um, here, um, but I'm not going to use it right now. So I was going to leave this out here for now. Go back to the help. Uh, so the first step here is to find your NCAA 06 ISO file and double click. So mine's right here on the desktop, NCAA 06, uh, NCAA football 06. What I, what I want to do here is double click it. And by default, it creates, um, if, unless you have software, it does something else. But basically, this creates a virtual DVD drive within Windows and opens up the file structure. So now this is all the files that are actually on the game disk. Um, what I want to do next is create a new folder on my desktop. I'm going to call this NCA06 mod. And then I'm going to take the files uh, th from the virtual disk and drag it over. So this is making a uh, copy of the disk into this folder here that I just created. Um, that way we can patch it up correctly and then use the image burn software to make um, a new ISO file that's got the patches installed and then it's ready to be played. So this will take a couple seconds um, depending how f or, or a couple minutes depending how fast your computer is. Mine takes about a minute to do total. Okay. Then the next step here is to take the patch files in the folder and replace uh, the files in the NCA06 uh, mod folder. So in this case, I will make my general combo patch. Um, so when you open up that general combo patch folder, um, you'll see there's a few files in here. And when, when you open up the NCA06 mod folder that I created, you'll notice that SLUS 214 is the same file name as this one right here, and then data folder and data folder. So what I want to do is just take this, and um, actually I'm just going to copy because I don't want to ruin my files here. But basically I'm just going to drag it over and replace the old files. So now the file structure that you just created has the new patched files in it. Okay, now back to image burn, you want to turn this on. Um, then uh, step five, open up step six, press create image from file folders. So that's this icon here in the middle right. Okay, now um, there's a source here. So you want to click this button called browse for a folder. Click on that, go to desktop, click the NCA06 mod folder select and you'll see that that folder is now listed as the source then you just want to press the build button down here the big build the big button on the bottom and this will uh, ask you where you want to install the or where you want to create the file so i'm putting it on my desktop i'm going to call it nca06 mod press save oops what did i do oh sorry uh NCO6 mod. Press save. Um, press yes. Press yes again. And then press OK. And then it will go ahead and create the new image now. Um, again, this will take uh, roughly anywhere from a couple seconds to a couple minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. Mine probably will take about a minute total. Um, so while it's doing this, um, uh, you'll basically want to then, uh, once this is done, you're basically complete and you'll want to load this into your PCSX2 emulator. And once it's in there, you can start the game as normal. 
So I'm just gonna let this thing kind of do its thing for the next 20 seconds or so. All right, um, you're gonna get this icon and it says operation successful, press okay, you can close this now. And then um, when this is all done, you can start your emulator. Um, I'm using the new Nightly QT version, so it's gonna look a little bit different. But since I have this um, already set up uh, to load the game from my desktop, it's already showing up here. <laughs> I actually have five different versions of NCA06 because I do a lot of random testing. Um, so you kind of want to figure out which the right one is. Um, in this case, you can see at the very bottom of... Uh, maybe you can't see on this thing here, but you, when you click on one of these disks, you can see at the bottom what the file name is, so that's one way to help. Um, the default view actually looks more like this, so let me show you. Um, it'll still show up at the bottom here. So the one I created was called mod right here. And you can just start it like normal and, you know, hopefully it'll load correctly. Um, and if it loads correctly, you can go ahead and get started. So this, yeah, looks like it's loading. I didn't get the red, red screen of death, so that's good. One trick uh, while you're loading is press F4 in the, um, on your keyboard and this makes the game load a lot, lot faster. As you can see, it's um, over 200% speed right now. Um, one way to quickly check to see if the patch got installed is to pick Washington or um, it's another team. I think Iowa State is another one. So if you go into uh, the uniform screen, you can see that Washington doesn't have numbers on the shoulder or on the sleeves anymore. They're actually on the shoulder. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell uh, from this view where the numbers are, but you know, that, that seems to be working, and then Iowa State, again, uh, has a number now on the shoulder, or on the sleeve, but it wasn't on the shoulder, or was on the shoulder before. So, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask in the comments, or find us on Discord, or um, just reach out to me. Thanks. Bye.